Step out of this vehicle right now. And we're going to have an issue where you're Step out of the car right now. Step out of the car. We're going to break the window and pull you out. Step out of the car. New body cam video tonight from Farmington Police showing the moments that five officers shot 25-year-old Chase Allen during a traffic stop. Before the story, we do want to give a disclaimer. If you do have younger members of your family or children in the room, the images you're about to see are going to be disturbing to many to watch. All right, now our Daniel Woodruff is live in Farmington with more on the release of this body cam video and more on the Chase Allen story. Daniel. Mark and Heidi, Farmington's police chief here is defending how his officers handled this situation. But for transparency, he says he wanted to get this video you're about to see out there so that everybody could say for themselves what happened. It starts with a Farmington police officer pulling over this blue BMW for having what cops say was an illegitimate license plate. I'm stopping you because there's no registration on your vehicle and I'm requesting your identification. The officer goes back and forth with the driver, identified as 25-year-old Chase Allen. Allen refuses to show his ID, saying he doesn't have to, nor does he have to answer questions. Eventually, he hands over a U.S. passport as other officers arrive to assist. Step out of this vehicle right now. And we're going to have an issue where Step out of the car right now. Then, things escalate. Step out of the car. Gun, 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 gun. The five officers fire multiple shots, hitting Allen and killing him. As they pull him out of the car, the video shows an empty holster on his waist and a gun inside the vehicle on the floor on the driver's side. Asked if Allen could have been reaching for his seatbelt rather than the gun, Farmington Police Chief Eric Johnson admits it's possible. Could have been. It's in the same location. But he defends his officers. I see them deal with him professionally, even killed, uh, cool, calm, and collected temperament. And, and unfortunately, then I see things go a really tragic direction. Chase Allen's family previously released a statement calling his death a, quote, brutal murder by police. The five officers who were involved in this, who fired shots, remain on leave as this shooting is being investigated. Live in Farmington, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.